This is what's causing so much concern. Thousands of babies in Brazil born with microcephaly, small heads and brains. It's believed their mothers were infected by the virus. The Zika virus in the American region is circulating with very high intensity at this moment. The WHO is now considering whether to declare this an international health emergency. Brazil isn't waiting. It's already declared war on the mosquito responsible for spreading the virus, deploying 200,000 troops to help. But it's not enough. There is no immunity. So we would expect huge numbers of infections, some detected, some not detected. The Zika virus is named after the forest in Uganda where it was first detected in 1947. Cases were subsequently recorded throughout Africa and Southeast Asia. Then in 2007, the virus began to appear in the islands of the South Pacific for the first time. Continuing east and detected last year in Brazil, Colombia and now most of Central and South America. It had all the ingredients to be able to spread rather quickly throughout the Americas. This expert says the Zika virus found the right climate and right breed of mosquito to thrive. Those mosquitoes aren't found in Canada, but anyone infected, including travelers, carries the virus for only a short time and is not contagious. The vast majority of people won't have any symptoms at all. About 80 to 90 percent of people won't even know they're infected. And, uh, and they'll do just fine. Most others only have mild symptoms. It's these birth defects that's raised fears around the world. And Canada is taking Zika seriously. Today, Canadian Blood Services said it will ban donations from people returning from Zika-infected areas. The health minister says there are at least three confirmed cases and she's monitoring the situation here and abroad closely. We are also participating in a conversation with the World Health Authorities as well to make sure that we are up to date with the, the rapidly evolving situation.